Okay, so we'll start uh, uh, the next question. Actually, I have written uh, construct the decision tree for the given set, uh, data set. Only uh, two variables are there, so uh, that's not possible. Okay, so uh, so the question actually is uh, so you have to find the first entropy of the data set. Okay, so it's an exercise question. Uh, entropy of the data set. So I directly took the. Uh, data set and the frame the question so uh, so first entro find the entropy of the data set second one uh, find the information gain okay so information gain of a2 okay so with respect to the training examples so these are the uh, questions we have to answer so we don't have to do the, do the decision tree construction there cannot be because only two variables are uh, uh, variables are there so we don't have to so the question you will get in the examination in the exercise of uh, section of the book is uh, so with respect to this the data set uh, what is the entropy of the data set so entropy of s we know the uh, the formula so along with that what is the gain of a2 so only this much you have to find out so now we will go our uh, into our first task of finding the uh, entropy of this uh, data set so the classification is given in the beginning here so we have a habit of seeing the classification at the end so you can imagine that way so the attribute values a1 a2 so in the previous one we had humidity temperature so uh, so on so here only a1 and a2 so some attribute values we have and its classification positive classification and negative classification we have so with this we will go to find the entropy of the data set which is our first question to do okay so entropy entropy of our data set entropy of s equal to uh, uh, minus minus out of 6 3 are uh, positive okay minus out of 6 3 are negative so we know that uh, if we have same number of positive example or if we calculate it mathematically so our answer will be 1 so for a the answer is 1 so we'll go into our next question we have to uh, find the gain uh, of uh, a to attribute a to with respect to our uh, data set s yes. okay so we'll go on to the uh, we'll go on to the uh, formula we know here so entropy is, uh, of s is already uh, found so we'll go into a2 so how do we what will be the uh, formula how will we uh, apply it so of s with respect to a2 will be our entropy of s which we have already calculated minus observe the square bracket okay summation we have so observe here so uh, v values of a so for our a2 attribute so attribute for our attribute uh, a2 so what are the values possible values possible so if you observe the data set for a2 it is a t and f well, let's talk like uh, true and false for uh, t and f okay so these are uh, t and f are the possibility so uh, our entropy uh, proportional to t and entropy proportional to f also we have to find so remember the previous question okay so we we'll write the uh, 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 substitutions here so total number six are there so out of that how many values of uh, uh, t are there let's we are considering t now so uh, here there are uh, one two three four okay so we are considering with respect to whole data sets right so considering respect to uh, finding the gain of a2 with respect to the entire data set okay so out of six uh, four are like that okay four are t then multiplied by entropy of uh, entropy of the instances when the value was t okay so plus 
so you have negation uh, minus here if this is a summation so we are putting the bracket and then uh, inside we are having uh, this uh, summation so if you multiply you will get again the negative uh, the subtraction only okay so out of six uh, two are uh, f values after that multiplied by entropy entropy uh, when when uh, the instances are uh, f attribute value f okay so this will be giving our gain so what we have to find now we have to find entropy when our attribute value a2 value is t uh, entropy one when a2 value is f so this is what we have to find so let's uh, move on to that so here to uh, yeah, substitute in our information gain uh, formula so we have to find entropy uh, entropy when our uh, a2 attribute value is uh, t okay so so we know how many log to uh, uh, positive and negative example so uh, when the attribute value is a t a2 is t what is the entropy we have to find so we have to consider only uh, the instances where uh, attribute value is t so first instance second instance here fifth instance and sixth instance okay so out of uh, four we have four instances here so we have uh, four instances here so how the out of that how many are positive we need how many are positive in that so uh, positive classification one positive two these are two are negative right so out of two log two so negation so again other two are negative so we will get equal number of positive and negative so as one so we know now know what is the entropy value so when uh, the value of a2 is t so we will find what will be the entropy value when the value is f value of a2 is f so uh, let's go on to this uh, table okay so uh, when do we have f here 3 and 4 out of 2 so one is positive and one is negative observe here okay so total two are there in that uh, one is positive and one is negative negation minus here so log two so the other one is negative so what will be uh, the value so equal positive equal negative with the answer is one the entropy value of uh, st and sf that means uh, uh, the entropy of uh, uh, in the a2 in the data set when the value is t the entropy of uh, a2 in the data set uh, while uh, the value is f yeah, they are one and one respectively let's substitute back in our uh, gain formula so gain of uh, data set with respect to a2 will be entropy of s minus okay so minus uh, we have out of uh, uh, out of a uh, six uh, four when they are uh, true or t value okay entropy of s t okay, plus two out of six where entropy are Yeah. so let's substitute here so entropy of s yes, we had um, uh, one okay so one and then inside we can put here four by six into one plus the entire minus is there here okay so inside the bracket we are doing it uh, two by six okay so multiply uh, one we have so so this will uh, result in uh, 4 by 6 plus uh, 2 by 6 so 1 by 1 so here 1 so this will be resulting in 0 the information gain uh, here of a2 with respect to the data set is 
zero so this will be the answer so the two tasks we have so one is to find the uh, entropy of the data set so another one is in uh, to calculate the information gain of uh, a2 with respect to the data set so this is uh, uh, so also from an exercise problem this is and also has been asked uh, once in the examination